McLeod with McLeod Pest Control. We are here to show you how to follow the checklist and to get ready for me coming in to spray, dust, steam, and vacuum for bed bugs. First of all, we need garbage bags. The process is like you're moving out of your bedroom. So, all your dresser drawers, every single one of them, everything goes into. Then you take the bag. Now, I'm not trying to make this a hard thing for you. Is we. Round and round we go. Tie her in a knot, then she is going down for laundry. Everything in this dresser that is clothes has to be washed in hot water and dried in a hot temperature of your dryer. This can be an inconvenience because when you're drying it, I want you to go down after every half hour and put it back to very dry the hottest temperature you can get on your dryer. One thing about bed bugs, vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. And another thing, as you're watching me plug this vacuum in, all your electrical plates, lights, and plug-ins have to be removed. You see in here? Bed bugs love to hide in there. That's where they love to lay their eggs. We have a chair here, a wood chair. Best bugs love wood. So we vacuum. Rubber made containers are good for this stuff. You can put all this stuff in Rubbermaid containers, plastic lid on top. Then vacuum your mirror. Then you pull your dresser out from the wall. A few inches and away from the wall and vacuum. And especially behind the mirror. All behind the mirror. They love this kind of thing. They've got all little places they can go and hide. A female can lay five to seven eggs a day. Now, a lot of people, when I go to their homes, they don't realize that they have to empty their night tables out. Now, night tables are always closest to bed. This is a great place for them to go. Some people use their night tables as just personal stuff. And some people use it for different other stuff. Underwear drawers, sock drawers, stuff like that. If you're following my checklist, and I'm going to be in your home helping you to do this, these are drawers that I would personally like you to do yourself. I'll be there 
to explain, but this is your personal stuff usually in here. This is your one to do. And some of the dresser drawers too. Privacy, privacy. All medication, creams, anything. Another one is a Rubbermaid container. They're not really going for this. It's got a scent, and that's not what it's looking for. A Rubbermaid container. I'm going to just maybe don't want me to do this one over here. And vacuum, 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 vacuum. By the time I get finished dealing with these bed bugs in your home, you're not going to like vacuuming very much or doing laundry very much. Another thing that has to come off are all picture frames. They all have to come down. This is a nice hiding place for them too. They do have to come down. Isabella, you're not going to like me too much, what I'm going to do here. You're not going to like me very much, Isabella. Bed. All bedding. All pretty little pillows that go with the nice bedding. have to be washed, or if I see a big infestation, I will be asking you to put them in bags and get rid of them. Another one is stuffed animals. Lots of stuffed animals get infested. Lots of times the bed bug will lay her eggs in there. Them will have to be bagged and thrown out too. All animals, humans, have to be out of the home. Six hours. Babies, people with respiratory and heart conditions, 24 to 48 hours. And I always give you a list of the chemicals that I'm using in your home, that if you do have major problems with respiratory and heart, take it to your doctor, and your doctor will let you know how long to be out of the house. Always around your labels. Times we tell people when we go into their homes we are going to be the most inconvenient people that have walked into your life because in order to get rid of these what you have to do is the biggest inconvenience it upsets your life and know that when I do my first spray and dust chemical treatment, I will be back in two weeks to do it again. So we will have to follow the same instructions two weeks from the first time I spray.
spray mattresses. We are not allowed to spray the mattress. We spray the bottom of the box spring, but never the mattress. But I do have bed bug mattress covers that I recommend for you to get. They can never get back into your mattress. And as you can see, how many garbage bags you're going to end up with. A mattress cover you put your mattress right into and it zips up and around and it goes for the same with the box spring. I can also get plastic bags that can go straight into the washing machine and they dissolve. So they never have to leave the washing machine. You can empty the clothes and throw the bags in with them. So if they're even on the bags and you're taking the bags to throw it in the garbage and there just happens to be a bed bug on it and they are little hitchhikers so and they're quick when they want to be. They can jump. Usually it doesn't happen but just as precaution we do have garbage bags that go straight into the washing machine. Okay if I'm looking for bed bugs on your bed I'm doing the seam. All the seams, all the way around. This is a footboard. They will be on this fit footboard and they'll be under here, in here, any cracks. They like to go and hide in there. So this mattress, take these off, pictures all off. Mattress off against the wall. Box spring off. Wow, look at that hair under there. Against the wall. Did that? Now I'm going to spray all of this here and I'm going to spray all of this under here and there's a good chance I'm going to be ripping this off. Right in here they love to hide in here and then they go in here so I will rip this off. I talk to you about it and then you can staple it back but I'm, I want to get in here where all this wood is to get the bed bugs. This headboard, it's going to all be sprayed. And this headboard, there's lots of little holes down in here. Oh, they love that. They love to go in that. And this bed will be pulled out from the wall. Curtains off the window because I spray window frames. This one. Even all your nice little things you don't think the bed bugs like, well, they can hide in this. And there's holes in here too. They like to sneak in there. So this will be sprayed also. I never spray the front of your pictures, I spray the back.
And when I've t told you to take your plug-in plug plates and light plates off, I put a dust in there. And that kills the bed bugs. And when the eggs hatch, it kills them immediately. We do have a new chemical out now that does kill the eggs. And that is the chemical we will be using. If you have mattresses that are right on the floor, you have no bed frame of any kind, most times I'm going to tell you to get rid of the mattress because it's going to be infested with the bed bugs. If you want, you can get bricks, milk crates, anything to keep the bed up off the floor. And I like to, when I'm spraying, I'm spraying all your bed frame, all your legs on your bed frame, anything in the little holes that are in this bed frame. Because they just love to hide in there. So even any kind of bed frame to keep your mattress up off the floor is the best. If it's on the floor and I check and you are totally infested with bed bugs, I'm going to ask you to wrap that mattress and plastic, duct tape it, and get rid of it. All your closets have to look like this. Nothing in it. Nothing on the floor. Nothing on the shelves. Vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. Now, I do all the door frames. Inside, outside. And if you have shelves like this, and not the wired ones, up and I spray all along because this is another beautiful place they love to hide and in the holes here they love to hide in here and in here and any cracks I will be spraying and all your door frames in your bedroom your bathroom all bedroom doors all bathroom doors just because they're heading down the hallway to the bedroom so sometimes they stop and if you get up and you jump in the tub and you see a bed bug in the tub it's not because it was in the bathroom it was on you you took it to the bathroom with you they don't like bathrooms there's no food there they got all the bed all the frames of the doors and the doors will be sprayed